Um, well, there are a lot of arguments for and against the bypass. The town's probably got a, lot, a bit quieter. Traffic isn't as high intense as it used to be. Well, a lot of tourism's lost because people are travelling or not stopping in the town. They're just going straight by and passing through the town. When I first heard about it, I thought, you know, a town like Ballyshannon might suffer badly with the shops and that, putting the bypass around it. But then this seems to be the norm all over Ireland at the moment. People who want to come into the town are going to come into the town. For me, Ballyshannon obviously needed a bypass. And I think the traffic in the town was an obstruction to business, and now people can get in into the town. Well, no, the footbridge in itself is a great asset to the town. Like the most densely populated area in Ballyshannon would be the north side of the bridge, which would have earned it heights, Lawn Park, St. Penel, Lizasro View. And for the likes of people living there to go to the doctor's surgery, to go to the lakeside for sports, it meant travelling the whole way in the town back out the other side, which was tripling your journey at least. Where now you just at the footbridge, it's easy, just walk across the bridge, you're right at the doctor's, straight, straight to the lakeside. So it's definitely beneficial, the footbridge. It's a long time to, to acquire new habits, and people were very used to going through the town, whereas now they go around it. But because of the very attractive aspect that the bridge throws with the blue light, shining on the river and our beautiful river there in the centre. I think people are coming back to the town more and personally speaking for myself, I just love this walk and going round the mall and home by the other bridge, but that's a very parochial view. This access, another access way out of the town and into the town and for pedestrians, it is, some people find it very, very uh, helpful and um, people like myself that walks a dog would find it very helpful. I know that a number of people didn't really want it, but at the end I think everybody accepted it afterwards. Like it has done a lot for to take the congested traffic out of the town, you know, which was a very good thing because weekends, the cars were bumper to bumper on weekends, we don't have, have, have that anymore now. The flyover part, the bridge itself, it's, in some ways it is beneficial. Busy summer days, it takes a lot of traffic out of the town, but on the downside of that, then you also have us taking people out of the town. People aren't passing through the town, not stopping, not spending money. However, many people argue that it's taken away, um, it's taken away custom from the town, and instead of the passing trade people talked about, we have nobody stopping in the town anymore. So, in these recessionary times, I suppose. There's lots of people say, well, it takes away from the town. The bridge is signalling the change. Ballyshannon has fallen away in the last 20 years since I've been here, from being a very, very busy town with a lot of employment to being, you know, more of a ghost town now where a lot of businesses have changed hands and the biggest industry in the town is, of course, emigration. So I was living in Galway at the time and I, um, I was kind of, I lost my job and the options were either emigrate or move back to Ballyshannon straight away and um, as things are not really, I mean, I don't know if it has been affected as much but you know there wa wasn't many opportunities. Employment is the main one. Yeah. A lot of people as themselves had to go to America for a few months, had to get a bit of work but things are looking up. You see today now there's plenty of traffic about and you know yourself. Business-wise, the bypass wouldn't have helped the town because uh, we have a lot of traffic not stopping in the town now that is passing us by. But then you have to realise that, uh, you know, it's progress. It's happening all over Europe and that. Towns are being bypassed, so as regards progress, there's not a lot we can do about it, but it's, I suppose it's just a fact of nature that progress has been made. It's a place to A to B, really. You know, it's, uh big benefit in the area and it's kind of become a little bit iconic now. To me, the bridge symbolises the change from the old pass that Ballyshannon represented, where it was the biggest town in Donegal. The bridge has signalled a catalyst for change. The businesses in the town are now becoming more aware that they need to change the old way of doing business to the new way of doing business, which is trying to attract people in 
they now bypass the town rather than go straight through the town. That had its own drawbacks with traffic congestion and everything. So now we have an opportunity to develop the town along different lines.